Okay, so this is what we found. It looks like uh, one of the burner switches basically just exploded, uh, shorted out, and uh, that's where the arcing and sparking came from. This is a fairly common problem that happens, especially on older cooktops, whenever they start to get a lot of grease and oils and fats that drip down inside of the machine. That's <clears throat> one of the reasons why it's particularly important to try to keep things on your cooktop as clean as you can. Uh, otherwise, things like this could happen. That's, that's one really nasty burned out switch. And uh, so this is the new switch assembly that we're going to be installing. It's a GE part. And uh, as you can see, it consists of five brand new switches all wired together with a loom. And uh, it's pretty simple to put this in. It's pretty much just pull the old one out, pop the new one in, and then we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Uh, before we put this new switch assembly back in place, uh, it's always a good idea to, uh, to check each and every one of these uh, gas valve bodies to make sure that it's all together. The, the screws, these screws are nice and tight. There we go. So everything else looks good. As you can see, even, even the burned up one has got a good solid connection. Nothing's loose there. Um, we want to make sure we don't have any gas leaks coming from here, or there, and any of those other spots. Okay, so the new switch harness is in and everything is working very nicely. I'll just show you what a decent flame looks like. Get a little bit of yellow tipping on a, mostly of a blue flame. There we go. There we go. So that, that's, what a, uh, that's what a good flame looks like. For the most part it's a blue flame with just a little bit of yellow tipping to uh, show you that it's got just about the right air fuel mix ratio. So another job done and we're out of here.